everyone and welcome back. My name is Abby and I'm the gal behind Sew Homie. Today's video is a compilation of six free crochet patterns that are Halloween decorations. Now I spent last night researching this topic and I'm really excited to share the ones that I did find that piqued my interest because I tend to go more for the fall decorations as you can see by the pumpkins behind me. It fits more of the season and I can leave them out longer, whereas I think Halloween decorations kind of fit only October. Now, that's why I wanted quick projects and easy projects so I can work them up quickly. It's already the middle of October, so you want something that will work up quickly and you also want something that's uh, pretty easy so that it doesn't take too much of your time since it's only gonna be out for a month. So. I do hope that you like these projects and let's go ahead and get into the first one. The first project that I found is called Frankenstein Candy Bowl and it is a pattern by A Crocheted Simplicity. It is free on the blog and all of the links will be down below so you can find this pattern very easily by just going to the description box and hitting that link. It'll take you right there. But this project would be perfect if you have any children like in your home because I don't know, I just think that this one's really cute. It's perfect for the children. If you have trick-or-treaters coming to your home, this would be really cute to leave out as well. Um, I just love the little detail where Frankenstein's mouth is open, so it looks like he's eating the candy. Um, but yeah, it's just really adorable to me. This one uses a worsted weight yarn, so it's gonna work up pretty quickly. Also, I really like how sturdy this basket is. From the description on the blog post, I did read through this pattern and everything is reinforced by plastic canvas. So the bottom, it looks like you crochet two circles for the bottom of the bin and in between you put a piece of plastic canvas and then you sew those together and that becomes the bottom. So with that plastic canvas there and with two you know, layers of crochet, it, I think that this would be very sturdy for whenever you fill it with candy. And also the sides of Frankenstein, um, that's gonna be reinforced by plastic canvas as well. So as you know, people are in the, in the candy bowl trying to grab things, um, it's not gonna fold in on itself. It should hold its shape. So I really like that. Also, just the details on this thing are amazing. The black top for his hair, but also the way that um, you know, you just, I think that's probably embroidered or sewn on there where you just bring the black part down where it looks like he has hair. Also the little scars, like the stitches and the bolts on the side of the neck. I don't know, it's just on point as a Halloween decoration and I just think it's very adorable. So um, again, this one is free on their blog and I think you should go check it out if you're interested. The next pattern that I found is called Witch Wreath by Pippin Poppycock and this one is super adorable. It reminds me of The Wizard of Oz and I think that was the inspiration behind this one. It's an easy skill level crochet pattern. It uses worsted weight yarn and this one's actually really unique because the link, if you'll click the link to this pattern in the description box, it'll take you to um, the blog post for this pattern but then you'll hit a link and it'll download this PDF. So this pattern is actually free PDF. So it's very concise, it's easy to follow, and there are, there are pictures within the pattern that help you along the way. So you start by crocheting the boots, then you go on to the legs. Once you have that done, I think you stuff it with polyfill, and then you crochet flat uh, the striped part that goes around the foam wreath or the foam ring and then since it's flat you go ahead and sew it to the the ring so that you have your wreath covered and then you make the witch's hat last and then you just attach this all together and you have yourself a wreath and I think it's really cute and again it's very clearly written in the pattern so if you're interested, check this one out. This next pattern is probably my favorite of all of them that I found. It's called the Hocus Pocus Pillow by Key. And I just think it's so adorable. <laughs> it looks like an easy skill level pattern. There's also a chart included in that blog post to help you with the color changes. 
And this one was inspired by the movie, which features the Sanderson sisters, and they all have different personalities and they sport different hairstyles. So that was the inspiration behind this pillow. She represents each sister by their hairstyle. I think she nailed this design. It just really represents that movie very well. And it's probably my favorite Halloween movie. I don't watch a ton of them, but I would probably classify that as my favorite. So that might be why I'm partial to this uh, pillow pattern. But again, this one is free on the blog, so definitely check it out if you're interested. This next pattern is called Halloween Pumpkin by Yarn and Chai. And it takes a classic fall pumpkin and makes it more Halloween with the jack-o'-lantern look. I really think that this one looks great. I like how she designed it. The way that the black and orange kind of uh, flicker, it makes it look like there's almost a light behind like where the cutouts would be of the pumpkin. So I think that this one is very on point. It, this pattern is the intermediate level pattern and I think it's just because of the chart and how you actually crochet the, um, the pumpkin. And now it uses a worsted weight yarn so it should work out pretty quickly and like I said there is a chart to follow to help you know when to change the colors and there's also detailed photos and written instructions that help you with shaping the jack-o'-lantern so that it actually looks like a pumpkin. I think that this one is more of a classic Halloween decoration, so I think you should definitely go check that one out. Now, we only have two left, and these are free patterns that are brought to you by Yarnspirations. The designer is different for each, so the first one is called Aunt Lydia's Halloween Tree of Spookiness, and this is by Christina Mershon on Ravelry. That's where I have it linked and once you hit that link it'll take you to the free pattern that you can download. Now these are all easy level skill patterns and this uses Aunt Lydia's crochet thread number 10. So this is a smaller, you will be required to use a smaller crochet hook with the smaller uh, yarn weight but they're they're fairly small, so I don't think that they will take up that much time. I still think that they'd be pretty quick projects, but I really love how this pattern comes with four different patterns. There's like the one with just like the ghost ball. There's one that's just like a plain ghost that's just adorable. I love how um, it looks like you just crochet uh, a tube with one open end and then you just tie it together so it looks like a ghost. That's really cute to me. But then also there's the other one that kind of combines the two where it's like a bigger ball on top with a smaller one and it still looks like a ghost. And then you have your classic jack-o'-lantern. And they're all very small. So again, I think that they'd be pretty quick to work up. And this would be perfect um, centerpiece if you have a tree like this or if you just got branches from outside, put it in a vase or something. Um, you could use that as a centerpiece or it could probably just sit on a shelf like this where um, you know you get a little bit of Halloween but it's also very cute as well so I really like the idea behind this one um, this is really cool because whenever you download it from the Your Inspirations website it comes in PDF form and it has all four patterns included all in one it's just a written instructions there aren't any pictures so you kind of need to know a little bit more the terminology for crochet but I think it'd be pretty easy for you to figure out if you've crocheted before if you haven't there's always online you can research the different abbreviations but that is one of them and then our last one as I said also comes from it's a free download from your inspirations but this one is called Halloween party banner and this one is by I'll flash the name on top or on the screen because I'm not sure how to pronounce it and um, that's the designer on Ravelry anyway. And then whenever you click on the link for the free pattern, it'll take you to the download. And this one also comes as a PDF and you get three different patterns with this one. So this one's really adorable. You get the, these are all flat as well. So I think these are really cute. Um, you get the bat, you get the pumpkin and you get the skull with the eyeball falling out. Um, these are just, I don't know, I think they're really cute. I saw that somebody actually, um, they had strung this up in their window. So I think that's a very simple way to decorate. Um, 
I don't know, it just looked really cute. So I think that that's a very simple way. But if you wanted to make it longer, you could also string it along the wall for a little bit more, you know, Halloween spirit in your home. But this one, these patterns will work up very quickly because it uses a worsted weight yarn. Um, the pattern calls for Red Heart Super Saver yarn, which is just a worsted weight. And you could probably substitute that for any acrylic yarn. So if you have these colors in your stash, I think this would be a perfect stash busting project. Again, this only comes with the written instructions, so you do need to have a little bit more knowledge on what the abbreviations mean and how to do that. But again, you can always uh, look online. There's a lot of tutorials that'll teach you how to do that stuff. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you have been inspired to make your own Halloween decorations. And if you found a pattern that you are going to make or that you want to make, Please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below which pattern piques your interest. Now, I will go ahead and sign off. Happy fall, happy Halloween, whichever it is for you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.